my outfit here. <laughs> I have a box full of new shit, new arrivals that I got from the Sephora sale. So I thought we could just put these products on my face and I could kind of give you my first impression of these specific products. I have not used them. A lot of you guys on Instagram wanted to know my opinion and wanted me to do a video about my first impressions. I was going to wait and try the products out a few times but then it's nice out today and I thought, you know what, it's a great day to just do kind of like a no makeup makeup and kind of the new trend of makeup. I feel so far behind. I don't know what I'm going to do. Basically, I'm not going to be on trend. That's all. I do my own thing. I beat to my own drum. Okay, skinny jeans are out, but I am still going to be wearing them along with tube top tie-dye dresses. This is from um, Fashion Nova. By the way, um, check out my last video. It is a haul of everything new that I bought. Sure that you guys are following me on Instagram, Seattle MUA Renee. I've been on there a little longer. I just kind of live on there and that's where most of you guys came from. If you're new here, I love to have you subscribe to my channel and turn on little notifications so you know whenever I post something. This is also, I'm going to have a tiny little giveaway to give away these two products today to one of you. So make sure to subscribe and let's get to showing you what new I got at Sephora and we're just gonna put it on my face and we're gonna find out really first impressions. I did get the new Fenty Skin Tint. So we are going to be trying that out. I have Rare Beauty, always an Optimus Pore Diffusing Primer. I don't have anything on my face right now. I filled in my uh, hair there a little bit, but that's all I have done. We have the Danessa Myricks Highlight Kit. I'm super excited about this. I have the new Patrick Ta sculpt and bronze we're gonna give that a whirl i have a few blushes i was able to snag one of the melt cream blush lights in sandy cheeks i thought that would be really nice for summer and then i did i love the lawless velvet blushes i have phoenix which is more of a color like sandy cheeks and this is a more a brighter peach tone and then we have the huda beauty toffee brown obsessions mini eyeshadow palette this is the glowy super gel it is a dewy laminating fluid the laminating part kind of scares me to combine with the Fenty Skin Tint. I just feel like these two are not meant to be together. Cute Taylor Swift. Is it? Wow. It's, mm -hmm. yeah, there you go. Look really interesting. Got it on jewelry and a dress, but your hair is like a peacock. It's okay. We don't leave our house anyways. I actually got my order really fast. So I that's why I'm excited to kind of get this video up while the sale is still going on. I do have my recommendations for things that I love 
on my Instagram. I think I did that the day the sale started for Rouge, which was the ninth. This can be the longest get ready with me ever. We have the Rare Beauty Primer. Love the packaging. Don't mind my nails. So this is more of a silicone -y primer here and I'm just going to use my fingers because that's just what I do. Uh, my mirror is over here so I tried to get the best angle that I possibly could for you guys. Just the things you know that I do for you. <laughs> I like it. It does feel like you have a primer on. It's not a thin consistency. It's a little bit thicker. I don't know. Does it look like my pores are smoother to you guys? I definitely see a little bit of a radiance. So I'll keep trying it out. And of course, I always let you guys know on Instagram, you know, how I'm liking things. I need to be better about it. I feel like I've kind of like, even though I am putting up content and everything, I just feel like people are doing so much these days. Like there's people doing podcasts on top of YouTube and then, you know, everybody on TikTok. It's like, I don't have the energy for all that. I don't know how people do it. How do you do it? We are going to just go in with the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. This has been blowing up this in the Kat Von D, the Apple, which I have not tried. I haven't been able to get my hands on any shade that is even remotely close to me. So yeah, I don't have anything to say about that and I got shade seven. So let us just put some of this on. I have a It Cosmetics flat top buffing foundation brush that, and I think I'm just gonna pour it on my face. You know, like that, yeah? I don't know. Let's see. I think the color is going to match me a little better once uh, I get some sun. I do feel like I need more of it. It dries pretty fast. So... Keep that in mind, you might wanna, probably would be best to go into sections rather than pour the entire thing on your face and hope for the best. But that's just kind of the life I live. In the summertime, my go-to like no makeup makeup is usually the Benefit Hello Happy. That kind of blew up a little bit, but I feel like this Fenty Ease Drop Skin Tint, uh, I gotta blend some down my neck. This spot, like back here, I swear it does not tan. I got a little bit darker than I am right now. I just, I haven't self tanned. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm well aware that this might not be a shade that looks real good for me right now but once we get concealer on and everything hopefully I look a little better it looks better from a distance I have the Fenty Beauty Pro Concealer to try. I actually got a peach shade though. I like to put peach just kind of on the inner portions of my eyes to help with the dark circles. Wow, we are really gonna lighten up the face here. 
<laughs> oh boy. I see my rat's nest is falling down. It's just great. So this will uh, lighten up the middle of my face and we might, we might be okay to actually leave the house like this. We might. I don't know yet. <laughs> Only time will tell. I do not know what brush this is. I it looks like a Morphe brush. Uh, I don't have a code with Morphe. I don't have a code with Morphe. Um, and to be completely honest, I just am not one of those people. I guess I fail kind of in the influencer department because I am so just honest. <laughs> and I'm not like one of those just hyper excited YouTubers. I watch some people and they're just over the top excited in my opinion. That's how they come off to me. And I wonder why people like that so much. I don't know. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, you know, some of the big names, they're always in drama and people are always complaining, yet they still support them and watch them. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm sorry about the background. I'm sure that is annoying. I'm trying to keep my body <laughs> there with it. So I didn't get this from the haul, but I have tried this a few times. The Fenty Beauty new uh, filter. It's a powder. Shit. It's a powder foundation, but I'm just gonna use a little bit as like a setting slash blending powder for both the concealer and the skin tint. And we will hope that this kind of blends everything together so that I don't look like a zebra. What do we have next? I got the Patrick Ta Sculpting. It's the one, the new duo that he just came out with. I got the shade She's Sculpted. So we have the cream on one side and then the powder on top. So I am going to use the cream to contour my nose just just a tad. I have a Zueva contour shader brush. It just looks like that. Got the little angle. I do love the JD Weighty 180 brush. Have that in my favorites, I believe. I do have a code with Luxie Beauty, so I will leave that below if you actually want to use it. I do love this brush and we're going to be using their angled contour brush to contour slash bronze just a little bit. <laughs> I like this. This is actually really nice. Although, <laughs> to be honest, I've been using the Gucci bronzer in shade three. I've been using that nonstop lately. And, um, well, it's really hard to top that, I guess. I know the light is a little bit off. It's nice out and I have my ring light, but you know, I'm kind of not used to doing videos like this. So bear with me. So I did apply just a little bit of concealer on my eyelids. I'm not quite sure why I got such a light 
a concealer shade. What did I do? What was I thinking? I did do my brows using the Precisely My Brow Pencil, which you guys know from Instagram. It is my absolute favorite. I did purchase a new shade. Um, I work with Benefit. They actually were the first company to reach out to me on Instagram. And um, if you're curious kind of about my story, I do have a video about it on my channel and how I grew my Instagram and just kind of like tips and tricks and shit I've learned over the last six, seven years. Honestly, I my only regret that I have had is not starting a YouTube channel sooner. I'm just going to do just a very basic eyeshadow with this Huda Beauty Toffee Brown. Look at these shades. Isn't that gorgeous? I am super intrigued about the, I really don't even want to touch that. It's so pretty, but I'm going to have to. So I am just taking this kind of caramel medium brown shade and we're just putting some kind of to contour my eyes in my crease and then below my crease. I actually enjoy this formula. I swear it's different and more pigmented and blendable than her larger palettes, but that's just my opinion. Take it, you know, how you want to, but I'm not gonna change it for anyone. <laughs> that's just uh, where I'm at in life. Where are you guys at? I'm actually disappointed in that shade it barely shows up this other one shows up i think that might be a little bit too dark maybe we'll just do this glowy one yeah. i'm just gonna take this brush looks dirty but i swear it's cleaner than it looks kind of like me uh, we're just going to take this and put this as our lid shade. It's really not. I sat here talking about these like they're the best things in the world. And then honestly, I'm a tad bit disappointed. I don't feel like the pigmentation is there, even though I'm just going for a very, <laughs> very natural look. I know I just used concealer as a primer, so, you know, maybe I'm just too used to using my P. Louise makeup base and doing you know, really pigmented eyeshadow. That's not the look that we're going for today. I have, I love these lashes, just my lashes, but better from the drugstore kiss. Um, they're just, they, they just look like my lashes, but better considering I don't really have any. We have a choice between the Lawless Velvet Powder Blush and then the Melt Sandy Cheeks Cream Blush Light. These were going in and out of stock. Oh wow, look at how much more uh, pigmented than the eyeshadows that it is. So we have the Blush in Soft nectar actually i'm kind of thinking of going this route only because my dress is pretty bright and obnoxious that's just how i roll this is the mac 129 i think i have been also promising you guys a 
my favorite brushes video. So maybe I'll do that next. Let me know below. That is really gorgeous. So this is Soft Nectar. I have been wanting this one. I have the shade Phoenix, which is more of a golden kind of burnt rustic orange color. Similar color to this Sandy Cheeks, but I love this formula as well. Highly recommend. I'm just going to put some across my nose, kind of make it look like maybe I've seen the sun. We have the Danessa Myricks Beauty Light Work Palette. I was super excited about this one. And side note, it is a black owned makeup brand. These, let's do some swatches. I'm running out of arm space here. Wow, those are gorgeous. I'm thinking that I will use common sense. You guys aren't used to being this close to my face, huh? I know. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. If you want a really natural highlight, this probably isn't for you. It doesn't seem to be accentuating my texture or anything. It just looks absolutely beautiful. Wow. This actually reminds me of my beloved Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero. That glow kit, it kind of reminds me of that. I am loving it. I think I'm going to put actually a little bit of no prob. Just, I don't know, I might regret this. I'm liking this, this kind of natural, but glowy. What do you think? I think, I think. I am going to throw on some lashes. You guys know I love my House of Lashes lash adhesive. Sephora does sell this now, highly, highly recommend. It is latex and formaldehyde free. So with my blue eyes, I am, I get pretty sensitive and I have insane allergies. I talked a big game about these lashes and they're just not staying on that fucking thing. It's bothering me so much. I can only imagine how much it's bothering you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh it's like a representation of my life right now just cannot get it together like that side is in 2021 but this side is still in 2020 what are we gonna put on my lips i need something a little glowy. Just picked this up not too long ago and I did put it in my recommendations. The Natasha Denona. I need a nude lip liner. We're just going to use this. I do not know what shade this is. I'll put it on the screen but these lip liners are amazing they do have a more slippery and smooth application not so much of a dry pencil i'm super sad about becca cosmetics they're going out of business 
So we are going to represent, and I believe a lot of their products, if you can get them, this does look a little bit dark to be wearing with this. I'm not sure. Should I do it? <laughs> We're going to do it. Okay. And then we have a gloss. Okay. So this is, I believe, what shade is this? Petal. This is Petal. It's more of a cool toned, almost like a mauve, cool toned mauve. Then we have this Becca Cosmetics Prismatic, the with, uh, the collab with Barbie Ferreira, and this is the shade Foiled. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at her glow. Oh. I cracked myself up. Okay, maybe I take it back. I don't actually recommend these lashes. We are going to give it one last shot. I am really liking the coverage for that Fenty skin tint. I really wish that I could get these lashes to just cooperate. That is, I think, as good as it's gonna get. So this is the final look, finally. I am really digging this basic, basic ass makeup look. Oh, and then Benefit did send me that I didn't purchase this myself. This is the Professional Super Setter. So with our natural ass makeup, I'm just going to put some of this on. Let's test out the Mr. I always get scared. I am kind of scared. It's got a nice scent to it, and it's actually very light feeling for having the name Super Setter. I am really liking everything that I got so far. I think the Fenty Beauty Skin Tint is going to be great for summer. I really, really, really also love the Danessa Myricks. This is the light work. Highlight palette. I really, really like the glow that it has to it. That just, yeah. I'm going to say the skin tint and the highlighter are probably my favorites. Let me know what your favorite item that I, that I put on my face is. Okay, and for the giveaway, so I have a brand new Sephora number 59 powder brush. It is this brush. This one is mine, just like this, just kind of an all over powder brush. And then I do have the Huda Beauty Sand Haze Obsessions. So for this giveaway, obviously you need to be subscribed to my channel, like this video, make sure that you're following me on Instagram as well. I'll leave a link, Seattle MUA Renee, and all you have to do, I did have my last giveaway, which was a few weeks ago, on here international and it costed me like over a hundred dollars for shipping so unfortunately I just don't have the money right now to have this be international so US only for just these items but I do have giveaways all the time so you know don't get mad at me don't just just don't because I don't even have to give you 
stuff that I purchased for you. Like this video and in a comment below, please uh, just let me know who you are and how you found me. And yeah, that's really what you have to do. Make sense? I will and let you guys know on Instagram on Friday who won these products. And I'm also going to be doing a little giveaway on Instagram. So make sure you're, you check that out. Other than that, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, I love you. You're a real trooper and I hope you guys are doing great and staying safe and healthy and I love you guys. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe, like this video, and I will see you in my next video. I love you.